Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my speed paints. So I guess today I'll talk about my pet peeves as the topic for this video. And I guess the peeves will revolve around the artist community just so it sort of relates to the whole drawing theme. Um, I mostly wanted to play with this topic because I always think it's funny when my other artist friends bring up their pet peeves in their videos. I just think it's highly amusing and I feel like I, I can relate to most of their complaints. So I wanted to try it out as well, but I waited to make a pet peeve voiceover until I drew up some kind of dark and angry looking picture so it would sort of relate to the topic in a way. I think this one will do. The picture is of my character Cold Platinum who is a villain in a story that I hope to someday get around to. She has a dress that connects to the floor and is able to control the earth's surface around her to a certain extent. Another thing to mention about this picture is that I decided to try inking the foreground of the picture as in the character and leave the background in pencils. I think I like it and I find that it makes the character really pop from the background. I think I'll have to try this uh, method again someday. Yes. I also didn't fully record the ending of this video because, well, near the end of my drawings I usually get annoyed pressing the record button because I feel pressured that I need to work on it and usually near the end of my pictures I spend quite a bit of time just staring at it trying to figure out what else I should do to complete this the picture. And my siblings are never around to get a second opinion of what I should do to it, so... Yeah, that's why the whole picture process isn't seen recorded on here. Sorry, but whatever. Okay, that should be enough talk about the picture. Now on to the pet peeves. So for the first one, these are in no particular order. They all sort of bother me to a certain extent. Okay, so for this first one is when an artist is doing a commission live stream and the people who are commissioning the said artist are being difficult to work with. When I watch artists on live streams, they usually tend to take on multiple commissions at a time, and so usually the artist's goal is to come up with a picture on the spot and draw it out as fast as they can so that the commissioner can see the entire process within a reasonable time. And so then the artist can start on the next person's commission. So they're under a bit of pressure, and when I see the commissioner making it difficult for the artist to draw the said image, it kind of bothers me, but mostly when it's for cheap commissions. I was watching one of my friends who was taking cheap sketch commissions at the time, and the commissioner kept making the artist change the pose of the character, because they were being picky. And then I even tried to get them to add a background, which wasn't part of the character sketch deal, but drew it anyway because this artist was too nice to say no. Anyway, it just bothers me when people do that because I've taken commissions while live streaming so I know how it feels when people ask for a highly detailed drawing on the spot. So I ask of those who commission an artist while they're live streaming, please make it as easy on them as possible and they'll love you forever. I know I would. My second pet peeve is when people ask me to look at their work and comment on it. Now this doesn't bother me as much when I sort of know the person, but when a stranger comes to me out of the blue and makes this demand of me, I'm not gonna lie, it annoys me. My life schedule is tight enough as it is, and you want me to spend my time to look and comment on your work? It would be a whole other story if I was stuck at an artist convention, at a booth, and had nothing better to do, because I'd have to spend my time there no matter what. And it would even be an okay time to ask that question if the artist posted in a journal announcing that they're bored and would like to chat with anyone. I've seen people do that. But randomly asking any artist this question out of the blue is asking them to stop whatever job they're working on to attend your needs. What I'm saying is there is an appropriate time to ask that question and then there's not an appropriate time to ask that question. If you pretty much just met the artist, and you wanted to be on the artist's good side, you can sour that relationship right off the bat by asking them that question first thing. Personally, I will ignore you. Sorry, but yeah, that's 
just how I react to people who ask that question. So don't do it. Try to really get to be in my friend status first before asking me to look at your work and comment on it. This third pet peeve of mine is kind of similar to the one I just mentioned, but it's slightly different in a way. It's when people expect things in return, including such things as gift giving, following one another on various websites, or giving feedback to an artwork. They'd straight up demand me of it. It's like, well, are you on a high horse? When it comes to giving gifts, it's a gift, not an art trade. Don't start drawing me gifts if you s expect something in return. That's not how gift giving works. And the people who want me to follow them back on various websites or wanting feedback in general pretty much flat out said to me that since I was not that popular of an artist, it was my duty to follow or comment back to them because I'm part of the artist community. <sighs> While I think it's good to support one another, I don't have the time to do that for everyone. I'm like one person and there are zillions of people in the artist community. I won't have time to do anything else in my life if I did that. You'll get comments and feedback if I like you or if I like your artwork, not just because you're part of the artist community. So please don't demand such things from artists you hardly know. I get the vibe that you might be having a tough time in life, and I'm sorry about that, but you're not going to make your life any better when you talk to people in such a demanding way. I just don't have the time to do special requests for single random individuals. I'm sorry. My fourth pet peeve is when I'm asked to draw something for someone, commission-wise, but then they'd request for me to never show the artwork off to anyone else. Like, ever. Because it involves a very private and personal character of theirs. They'd say that they'd pay an extra fee for keeping it private, but those type of commissions still bum me out. It's like working on a project you're really proud of, only to burn it up once you finish it. I mean, cr requests like those make me not even want to put any effort into those types of commissions because, I mean, what is the point? Frankly, I enjoy showing people my work and getting feedback from them. It would be a whole other story if it was for someone who was writing a storybook or whatever uh, that needed to keep the artwork private for a certain period of time. I mean, at least I'd eventually be able to share my artwork with others when the time came for them to publish their story. But it's just not the same when you have to keep the picture forever private. It's just very unsatisfying and... Personally, I don't think I want to take any more of those types of commissions. It's rare for me to get those types of commission requests in the first place, but I was asked again recently for one of those and just... No thank you. Uh, maybe if I was super desperate to make money or something, but at the moment, I am not. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever been that desperate to make money now that I think of it. And for the last pet peeve of mine for this video, um, this other particular one is kind of aimed at some uh, YouTube artists. Or perhaps anyone in particular who makes videos dealing with any form of talking. If you have your background music overpower your talking, uh, your voice, the voice that everyone's trying to hear, your video is dumb and pointless because no one can understand you. Turn your background music down lower than the volume of your voice. Double check your recording before you upload it. Sure, you c I can turn on subtitles, but there's not always an option for that. It even bothers me when I'm watching documentaries and the music is overpowering the people they're interviewing. I know you're trying to make the video as epic as possible with your music, but please let us hear the people speak. <sighs> oh, there's one more thing I'd like to add to that. I super dislike it when people have their intro and outro intro and outro music super loud and then it skips to a quiet very very quiet voice can you please just make it all one level volume so you don't kill all of our ears please and thank you 
So that is it for now. If you'd like to hear more pet peeves of mine not related to the art community, let me know and I'll think about it. I have a list of things that bother me. Though they are fun to listen to, I'm kind of hesitant about it because I don't know if I want this channel to become too much of a negative place. I think that if I do any more of these types of rant videos, maybe I'll have them be spaced out and only do them whenever I draw like a dark artwork to match the negativity of the topic or something. Hopefully doing it that way the rant videos won't consume my channel. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk with you later. Bye!